Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Our topic today is a future newspaper headline given to John Paul Jackson, the prophet. And it said, loss of identity, the cost to belong to the new Euro community. As America falls, several prophecies say, including the Bible, that uh, everything is going to be moved more to the EU and that area there. So let me read it again. Loss of identity, the cost to belong to the new Euro community. I would say probably loss of anonymity is what they're really going to do. When it says loss of identity, in other words, you're not going to be having anything private anymore. You will have to give up your face print, your iris scan, your DNA, your fingerprint, your voice print, and they will have everything about you in that computer, and they will access that computer through your cell phone, and that's essentially what we're going to be talking about today. Okay, let's start with, from most important news, June 22, 2023, headline. They want to implement a global system of digital identification. Now, I hope you're listening, because I know so many times things you hear in Prophecy Club, you think, ah, maybe someday... Well, this is about to be today. This is probably going to take place, probably start this year. And my guess is by 2025, it'll be fully implemented. They want to implement a global system of digital identification for all that would be connected to our bank accounts. He says, it doesn't take a genius to figure out where this could be heading for a moment. I would like for you to imagine a rather chilling fictional scenario. Not too far in the future, a global citizens, all global citizens, are required to possess proper digital identification, or else they will not be able to to access the new global digital financial system. We've talked about this. It's in a lot of prophecies. Central banks all over the globe have rolled out their new central bank digital currencies, CBDC. But in order to use those currencies, you must, quote, Prove that you are who you say you are, and the only way to do that is with the new global system of digital identification that has been introduced. For example, we have a Facebook page, Prophecy Club does, but I do not have a Facebook page. We have a Twitter account, but I do not have a Twitter account. Anything that requires me to give my actual address, especially my social security number, uh, my driver's license number, any, any of that, I, I don't get into it. I, I have never donated ever in my lifetime to any kind of a political candidate, political rally or anything like that. I've never donated. In other words, I try to stay out of the system. What this is going to force people to do is to come into the system. Now, I'm going to tell you something that he doesn't mention in the article here. But where other reports say they're going with this is they're going to set up a global digital system and an account for every beating heart on the planet. And they'll put a large amount of money in that. My guess is, like, say, 50000 of what would be in today's money, maybe even $100,000. But in order to access this large amount of money, you have to have an account. In other words, they're going to buy your identity. Let's go on with the article. As cash is phased out, those that resist, Christians, the only ones that will resist this are Christians, that resist being part of the new global system are increasingly pushed to the outer fringes of society. Hardly anyone is willing to employ them any longer. It has become virtually impossible for them to get loans. They are looked upon by much of the general population. And then, after most of the global population has willingly signed up, For the new global system of digital identification, it is announced that that system will now become mandatory. That means that anyone who does not submit will not be able to buy or sell or get a job, have a bank account. You won't be able to go to the Home Depot. You won't be able to go see your doctor. You won't be able to get into the hospital. You won't be able to have a surgery. None of that stuff. You will be cut off from society and everything that the society can offer. You may think that I'm exaggerating, he says. 
the dangers of a global system of digital identification, and I wish that I was. Once a global system of digital identification is introduced, it will rapidly become our most important form of identification. Just like, for example, the Social Security card. Oh, well, it'll never be used for identification. When's the last time you could get a loan and not give them your Social Security card? When's the last time you could open a bank account and not give them your Social Security number? So even though they told us it would never be used for identification, they lied, and they're lying here. It will, it has, and this is going to be the mark of the beast system. He goes on to say it'll become more important than your driver's license, more important than a Social Security number, pretty quickly, it would become required for almost every financial transaction that you'll make online. No, it's not. It's every. You won't be able to buy or sell, Revelation 13, 15 says. A lot of people may think that that would be a good thing. After all, there are so many scammers and thieves on the Internet these days. Well, guess what? The devil's not after scammers and thieves. He's after those people that resist taking the mark of the beast. He will probably, in my opinion, let the scammers and thieves buy. He just won't see them. There won't be a problem. Kind of like right now, we, we can't find anything wrong with Joe Biden or Hunter Biden. Can't find anything wrong with them. We just can't seem to serve up justice in America. That's the way it'll be. They won't be able to serve up justice to people on their side. And I would agree that there is a need for financial security on the Internet, he says. But I'm 100% against any type of global digital identification system because the potential for tyranny would be off the charts. Unfortunately, that is exactly the type of system that is now being proposed by policymakers at the United Nations. In a May 2023 policy brief entitled A Global Digital Compact, an Open, Free, and Secure Digital Future for All, we are told that an open, free, secure, and human-centered digital future is critical for the, quote, attainment of the sustainable development goals. Okay, <laughs> in other words, their goals, and one of those goals, unwritten, is going to be you have to take the mark. you got to worship the beast. Most people in the general population would not be too alarmed after reading that introductory paragraph, but, as they say, the devil is in the details. If you go to page 8 of the policy brief, you will find the section where a system of digital identification, quote, linked with bank or mobile money accounts is proposed. It says, digital IDs linked with the bank or mobile money accounts can improve the delivery of social protection coverage. Social protection coverage? What's that? Well, if you want to be LGBTQ or whatever that is, or if you want to be transgender, if you want to do whatever you want to do, as long as it's just not be a Christian, then you have social protection. But if you want to be a Christian, if you want to come out of the system, be separate, if you want to live a holy and clean life, then you are a problem. Social protection coverage and serve to better reach eligible beneficiaries. Digital technologies may help to reduce leakage, Leakage errors and costs in the design of social protection programs. Under such a system, if your social credit score gets too low, you can be put in digital jail for a certain period of time. Your digital privileges would be suspended for a while, and that would mean that you could not buy, sell, or live your normal life for the duration of your punishment. Of course, if you insist on being a repeat offender, Enough times you could have your digital privileges revoked permanently. Well, what do you do then? Well, you wouldn't be able to sell or buy anything. You wouldn't be able to get a job. You wouldn't be able to have a bank account. You would be a total outcast from society. Don't be fooled into thinking that this is some sort of a system is a long way off. No. They are expecting this in the next two years. Three months from now, the European Union will mandate that all member states offer a digital identity wallet to every single one of their citizens and businesses. Did you hear that? It starts in three months. Now, it won't be required at first, not until they get everybody on it or pretty much everybody on it. The European Union will mandate digital identity under this, whatever that is there, which will go into effect in September 2023. 
and ensure all member states offer a digital identity wallet to citizens and businesses, according to the European Commission. At least, listen, 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 80% of the citizens should be able to use a digital ID solution to access key public services by 2030. That's their goal, to have the entire globe on it and required by 2030. I think they'll reach it sooner. Now, I do not know that the tribulation has started, but Terry Bennett and Vicky Goforth Parnell says it has. Terry Bennett says it started October 5th, 2022. If it is seven years, like I believe the Bible says it is, that would mean that it's going to conclude somewhere in the ballpark of 2029. So since we know that the Antichrist sits on the Ark of the Covenant in the midst or the middle of the week, it would make sense to me that somewhere in the ballpark of three and a half years before 2029 is when it will be required. In other words, I think it's coming in faster than that. That's my point. Initially, participation by individuals and businesses in the EU system will be voluntary, of course. But over the past few years, we've seen how quickly voluntary measures can become mandatory measures. When I say that we're living one of the most critical times in all of human history, he says, I'm not joking. There is a reason why the UK, EU, and the US are all getting ready to roll out CBDCs. And there is a reason why digital identification has suddenly become such a hot issue. They really do want to build a digital prison for all of us. And if you plan to object, the time to do so is now. All right, now, further confirmation. I'm only going to read part of this. I've read it many times. You recall, Chris Reed said he saw a man or an angel standing having a $50 bill and he tore off a third of it, meaning the dollar will first fall 30%. And there's other prophecies which I'm skipping, skipping right now. But he says, the man in black then took out a new dollar bill like a cell phone. Somehow it was like a cell phone and a one dollar bill. I'm going to read that again. Somehow it was like a cell phone and a one dollar bill. I'm telling you, your cell phone, your cell phone, your cell phone is not your friend. This is going to enslave you. Not this model, a future model. It is going to require you to worship the beast in order to access your finances. Somehow it was like a cell phone. And a $1 bill, at the same time, it looked like a $1 bill, but it was like a cell phone. And I did see George Washington's face on it, but it looked very different. Another newspaper read, new currency for a, new, for a renewed nation. A new currency for a renewed nation. What's the new currency? Digital. Look. Okay, so how can you cause all people, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on the right hand of their forehead, and then no man might buy or sell, no man might buy or sell, no man might buy or sell, save you had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. How can you do that? You've got to be able to get between the seller and the buyer. You've got to get between the merchant and the consumer and be able to stop it. The only way you can do that is with digital currency that's what they're setting up. So I've been studying prophecy 40 years, been teaching it 30 years. All of that time, this was what I was expecting. I knew some kind of a digital system of paying things was the only way it could ever happen. This is all of the prophecies, and I'm skipping a lot of them. But I wanted to show you, it starts here with a 30% devaluation of the dollar, but way down here is when the cell phone is, in other words, it's not immediate, but all of this is coming, just to let you know, it's all coming. How are they going to do this? Well, we don't have to figure it out. They've already figured it out, but let me tell you what they figured it out. It's called Starlink. Now, as you recall, we've talked about this before, and this was several years ago, an article, but it says what needs to be said. Elon Musk just revealed new details. Now, this is a couple of years old. doesn't have a date on it, but it's a couple of years old. So that means what you're about to hear is far more advanced than what this article is about to tell you. Elon Musk just revealed new de details about Starlink. A plan to surround the Earth with 12,000 high-speed, catch that word, high-speed internet satellites. Internet satellites. You access them 
with the new cell phone that has not come out yet. Here's how it will work. It says might work. Here's how it will work. Well, right now, 4G is the fastest download at 1.4 gigabytes. Starlink, however, is going to be 20 gigabytes with very low latency. What is latency? That means how long you wait for it to start loading, uploading, or downloading. SpaceX is launching 120 internet-providing satellites each month, and my understanding is now that's gone down to about two times a month. They plan 12,000 internet satellites in low Earth orbit. Why low Earth orbit? So that your cell phone can pick it up, or the new cell phone. Using lasers to transfer information between each of the satellites and to the ground 50% faster than fiber optic cables. Faster than fiber optic cables. Cheap, fast, internet to the world, 10 times faster than 4G. Two weeks, Falcon 9 rocket distributes 60 tabletop-sized satellites in nine minutes. They're designed to last up there about 18 months to no longer than five years, then burn up in the atmosphere. They'll blanket the Earth with high-speed, low-latency, affordable internet access. Why? Because they have to be able to have all people communicate so that they can have financial transactions. That's where they're going. By the way, I've talked about this in my book, Miss the Mark. You probably want to get it. 400 satellites establish minor internet coverage. Probably they passed that a long time ago. 800 satellites, significant coverage. My guess is right now they're getting pretty close to total coverage. 4,400 4, low Earth orbit satellites will be deployed by 2024. Told you. And all 12,000 fully online by 2027. You remember? That's what they said earlier. 2030 is when they... No, no. I'm saying no. It's probably more like 25, 26, somewhere in there. The whole system will be online. This is a picture of 120 satellites launched from one rocket, and they're just thrown out into space like Frisbees. Then the rocket motors move them into place, and it looks something like what you're looking at right now. Here's another picture of 24 orbital planes, 66 satellites per plane. I wonder where they come up with the number 66. At a 53-degree incline. So when it's all set up, it'll look like that, and every place on Earth, except maybe the Arctic and Antarctic, is going to have coverage. To prove this even further, back in 1985, my good friend, Prophet Maurice Scalar, had a uh, vision. He said, I saw the Earth from space. Neon lights began to appear in hexagon patterns and then spread around the world. I saw light, white laser lights traced in 100-mile-wide hexagon patterns around the entire Earth like an electronic or laser spider web. Now, understand, this is 1985. Nobody had any idea this was coming. He was shown the future. The Earth was wrapped in an electronic grid like a geodesic dome, similar to the one at Epcot Center, like that. Okay? The Lord said to me, this is what is shortly to take place. There is an electronic web. Now, see, God knew we were going to call it the World Wide Web back in 1985. But 1985, I, I, I didn't look it up, but my guess is that it hadn't even come out by then. There is an electronic web that will encircle the earth like this. It will unite the whole world under the Antichrist system of the end-time Babylon. That would be America. At first, it will bring great blessings and prosperity, like now. It will seem like everyone is coming together and a new age is dawning from mankind, like now. I looked again and I saw the earth from space with this electronic web around it once more. By then, I saw the continent of Europe. The hexagons from each nation began to grow dark and became opaque. In other words, it became evil. I looked, it looked like black smoke rose. One after another, each hexagon began to go smoky gray, then black. After a few seconds, I could no longer see Europe at all. Then this began to spread rapidly across Asia, Africa. Finally, Australia, China, and even America were completely blotted out. It became evil. I could only see the oceans, then the islands of the seas became black. Finally, the entire earth was in darkness. Even the blue oceans disappeared. I felt such evil and hopelessness. I heard the cries of millions of souls on earth that were trapped in darkness, trapped in the web. Why do you think they call it a web? Well, a web is where a spider catches its prey. And this is where the devil is going to catch us. We are his prey. 
Then the Lord spoke again and said, do you see this? Do you know what this is? And I replied, no, no, Lord, I don't. He said, this is the fullness of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This is what Adam chose for all of mankind in the Garden of Eden instead of union and life with me. They could have eaten from the tree of life instead, and this never would have happened. Satellites communicate between themselves by laser really fast. Why does that have to be really fast? Because the whole world is accessing the whole world, the quantum financial computer system, all from this. So eventually it'll look like this. This is what the Starlink satellites actually look like, a drawing of them. This is how they deploy in orbit so that they can stay up there and be powered. About the size of your kitchen table, powered by a Krypton motor, lift it up and keeps it into proper order and deorbits it with a 98% burn up upon re-entry. Now, what is this? Well, this is a couple of illegal immigrants. What are they holding? The article said ICE issues 255,000 smartphones to illegal board crossers, cost 89.5 million. Now, this was over a year ago. Do you think they've stopped? Do you think that that's all that they issued, just 255,000? I think what they're saying is just report for duty when called, military training, sabotage, espionage, blow up bridges, electrical dams, poison water supplies. They're bringing our enemies across our border right now. I think that what, it, what you're going to see is your cell phone is eventually going to be your passport, your vaccine passport or proof of your vaccine, driver's license, credit, credit card, link to Starlink and quantum, quantum computer. You'll make all payments with your cell phone. I'm telling you, your cell phone is not your friend. Here's where it's eventually going. So that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark. That's this guy here. The mark, the name of the beast, or the number of his name, which is 666. This is a backwards 666 right here. So we know what it looks like, or pretty close to it, and we'll be able to spot it. But brothers and sisters, I'm telling you right now, you got to get ready. you got to get ready. I'd encourage you to get my book, Miss the Mark, at prophecyclub.com. I'm going to show you something you've never seen or tasted before. I'm doing this impromptu. I just went out to my own bread machine and I pulled this out. This is a loaf I made Saturday. This is my famous raisin cinnamon vanilla. This new loaf, the, the whole loaf would weigh about three pounds. Of course, I've already eaten about half of it. But I want to show you why you have never tasted this. Each one of these slices, you can see how thick it is. One of these slices is a meal. You eat one of these in the morning, one in the afternoon, and not only are you satisfied, you're, you're really satisfied. You're really happy. Cinnamon, raisin, vanilla, and yes, at josephkitchen.com, you can get the recipe. This is an upgraded recipe that I plan to be putting out here as soon as I get a chance. But if you look close... Those are raisins, cinnamon, and vanilla all whipped together. You put that into a toaster, put a little bit of butter on that, and, well, it doesn't last long at church. Uh, as a matter of fact, they pass by all of the nice donuts and all of the other sweet garbage to get something that's really good for them. Now, what I would suggest you do is start making your own bread, whether you've already got Joseph's Kitchen or whether you haven't, get it. Now, here's what you do. You go to josephskitchen.com. Two things. One, you order a machine package. That's the mechanicals to make it. In other words, the grinder that takes the wheat berries, turns it into flour, which you put into the bread machine with six other ingredients. Push a button. Two hours and 20 minutes later, you have a nice hot loaf of whole wheat bread. It won't look like this because <laughs> this one has raisin cinnamon and, uh, and honey in it. Anyway, extra honey. And the next thing you want to do is decide how much food you want to have. You want to have six people one year, four people one year, two people one year, or just enough for one person. All of that is at the price of around $1,000 per person. Get you some homemade whole wheat bread. Why have you never tasted this? Because the grocery stores cannot and will never be able to offer this because in about seven to ten days after you break the wheat berry, it starts going bad. 
Now, I know that I'm going to have to eat this in the next seven to ten days, but I also know it's probably not going to last more than three or four days. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life, and I can't guarantee this. Uh, I can't say it legally, but uh, let's put it this way. I'm, I've been taken off of my... Uh, well, I've been taken off of my high blood pressure pills, and the doctor said that I have low cholesterol now, cut my cholesterol pill in half. And the only thing I can say is over the last year, I started eating whole wheat bread. So there it is, whole wheat bread, josephskitchen.com. Terry Saka, corner, a stone, asset, metals.com. So why should people go online or call you today? Seymour Hirsch, an amazing investigative journalist, laid out the case that the United States is the one that blew up the Nord Stream pipelines, hurting our very own allies. That is a nation that is desperate because their currency is on the verge of losing reserve status. That's not good for a United States dollar and why we better be protected. Terry Saka, CornerstoneAssetMetals.com. Give him a call or go online today. CornerstoneAssetMetals.com. Now, this is the offer that I suggest you get. Each one of these five DVDs, two and a half hours each about, used to be offered for $30. Right now, you can get all, uh, all five of them at prophecyclub.com, the DVDs, for a gift of, five, of $100. But the better deal would be for you to go to prophecy or to watch Prophecy Club right here. Watch prophecyclub.com. And if you'll enter the promo code TPC2023, You'll get the first month free means you can watch all five of these for free. What a deal, huh? And a better deal. Go to the TPC 2023 with a Y at the end. You get a $20 off on the normal $200 annual plan. That's the best deal. This is like six or $7,000 worth of DVDs. Took us 25 years to make them all at watchprophecyclub.com. Did you get that? Watch instantly at WatchProphecyClub.com. I am having another Level 2. Level 2 School of the Watchman's Conference, and I'm calling this a teacher's course. It's going to be September 15 and 16. You can go to ProphecyClub.com, and it'll tell you all of the details about it. And it gives you all of the requirements. I'll let you read that online. However, the big question is, you're going to be saying, well, what's the difference between Level 1 and Level 2? Well, Lots. Level one was primarily reading through most of the book of Revelation and teaching it. That's not be level two. Yes, we will do some reading. But this one is designed to make you a teacher of Bible prophecy, which, by the way, our office wants to know if you went through level one and if you have taught or have been invited to teach from the book of Revelation and you went through level one, send me an email. I'd like to know that. I know there's been at least one. I think there's two, maybe more. Anyway, I'd like to know. So level two is to teach you to the point to where you can be qualified to actually teach the book of Revelation. Now, I'm going to tell you right up front, we're going to have a level three, God willing. And in that one, I'm going to require people to memorize the book of Revelation to come to level three. And so there's going to be one year's difference between level two and level three. It took me a year to memorize it, so I figure it'll take you a year to memorize it. Some of you may even faster. So go to prophecyclub.com, and it'll give you all the details, tells you all about some of the difficult questions and things like that we're going to cover in level two. Level two is going to get you real close to being a a qualified teacher of Revelation. But by the time you get through level three, having memorized the book, pastor's going to listen to you. And that's where we're going with it.